Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we're taking a look at this. This is the Ruidang TC66 USB-C power meter. If you look at the back you can see this is uh, the box it came in and at the back you can see the picture of the USB-C meter. Now it comes in two different models. One is TC66 which is the one that I've got and the other model is your TC66C. That comes with a Bluetooth chip and it's a that's a little expensive model than this one. So I went with the cheaper option because uh, I don't uh, use this meter much so I went with the uh, cheaper option because almost every other feature apart from the connectivity is same. So without any further delay let me just uh, take this out and see how it looks. Uh, also there is a small QR code you can scan this code to download the uh, available instruction and the uh, software that you can use to uh, uh, use this with your PC. So let me just take this out and right off the bat you will see that the meter looks very very small compared to its usb a count counterparts here is your protective casing on the usb mail port let me just take this out and put this back in the container and keep this aside now for size comparison here is a small 3.5 mm uh, audio jack you can see this is how the uh, meter looks in front uh, in comparison to the 3.5 mm jack and for more accurate measurement here is a measuring scale you can see just about two inches in length and a little less than one inches in thickness as far as the physical overview is concerned this is your male usb-c port and this is your female usb-c port on the front you can see there is your bi-directional arrows one going in this right direction and the other going in the left direction meaning you can if this meter can measure the flow of power in either direction and that that is helpful in many many situation and I, I will show you such situation uh, just yet so this is the physical overview at the back you can see there are of uh, two click switches and your two sliding switches the k1 and k2 switches are for your navigating through different menus and selecting different set settings on the right side you have your three uh, two sliding switches you can slide them off and on so the left side is off and the right side is on. Uh, the power switch is basically to decide whether you want to use the power from here or you want to use an external power to supply the power to the meter and that will only use the external power to run the meter and all the power that is coming from here will go from the output of the meter and that will give you more accurate readings. The other part is your uh, PD on off switch. This will allow you to use the trigger function of the usb meter if you keep this on you can check what type of you can trigger uh, uh, a power delivery device using this uh, meter if you turn that off uh, the power delivery feature will not work and also you will not be able to uh, power the meter on using the male uh, connector of this meter so without any further delay let me just connect this to a, a power bank and see what you can do with this meter so here's my power bank this supports power delivery let me just connect this in now with the usb-c meter you can do a lot of things because every other phone today comes with a usb-c port and chances are most of them do support power delivery of some kind so what you can do basically if you have a, some kind of usb-c charger that has a usb-c port you can check whether your charger is working or not you can check what type of voltages and current your charger supports you can also check the quality of different power delivery cables you can check which one uh, has the lowest voltage drop and you can buy the best cable for your phones the other thing you can also do is check the type of uh, check the amount of power your phone takes when charging so you can check how much your power phone is actually taking from your charger so usb-c meters are very very versatile at least today because almost every other phone comes with a usb-c port and also uh, you will be able to diagnose if something is wrong with your phone your charger or your charging cables so once you power it on this is how the meter would look and as you can see luckily i've got a power bank which also displayed some of the uh, uh, readings so this is at the moment we are uh, uh, outputting 5 volts and no amount of current is going outside anyways let's focus on the meter because that's what we are interested in so this is the first page and on the first page you can see that it displays the voltage the current and 
on this side it is displaying the temperature the temperature of the meter itself so that meter is reading about 13 sorry 18 degrees celsius here is your data group and i don't know what this is here as you can see this is displaying the wattage how much what we are uh, consuming anyway so if you press the k2 button this is your k1 button and this is your k2 button if you press the k1 and k2 button you can change through different pages different menus so this was the first page if you go to the second page uh, anyways on the first page also i want to show you that this is uh, the accumulated uh, uh, milliamp hour and milliwatt hour at the moment the data group that is selected is zero to change the data group to uh, one all you have to do is press the k2 button long press the k2 button and it will change to one so when the data group one is selected all the values are accumulated even when the power is off if you take this meter out and plug this back in some other time it will start the values from the last left values if however you keep this data group to zero it will only remember the values uh, until you next time turn the power on and it will re delete the value once the value reaches one so if you want to remember the values keep it at one if you don't want to remember the values just keep it at zero that was your first page if you press k2 button again you will reach the second page this is your second page and on the second page again you can see the voltage the current the temperature the data setting here you can record the data on an external memory that is available on this meter which you can use to transfer to your computer and plot some graphs with that if you press the k2 button again another page displays you the voltage the current the data positive the data negative value again the temperature the data group and your charging protocol and also on different pages you will see this arrow at the moment it is not displaying much it is uh, displaying a random direction and a random charging protocol once i connect a load on this side the arrow will change to the correct orientation okay so let me just connect a device to it and see whether the arrow flips to the other side or not and we will also see whether the charging protocol changes at the moment it is showing the apple 2.4 watt sorry 2.4 amp that is the 12 volt charging protocol so i've got my uh, phone here and i've got a usb c cable here so let us connect uh, let me just first connect the cable to a phone and this is the redmi note 7 that supports qualcomm 3.0 or and 2.0 fast charging not a power delivery device and the other end i'm going to connect to the meter and let's see what happens to the arrow that we are getting on the meter so let me just plug it in so it's plugged in and as you can see it changed to qc 2.0 then unknown and the arrow also flipped on to the other direction so as you can see sometimes it is a little accurate sometimes it's not that accurate and at the moment it is displaying qc uh, 2.0 and the power we are getting is there you can see the voltage the current and the arrow has also flipped now the good part about the uh, changeable orientation of this meter is that i don't have to always plug the meter in the charger so i don't have to come back to the charger to see the reading what i can do is instead of plugging the uh, meter in the charger i can instead uh, do the opposite i can plug the meter in my phone and then plug the other end into the charger here so as you can see so as you can see that uh, i've plugged in the meter in the uh, my phone you can see that the arrow has flipped in the right direction and it is again showing the voltage and again showing the current that we are drawing so this way you can use the meter in either direction you can decide to put the meter on the charger or on your phone and that's why the uh, bi-directional measurement of units is really really helpful one other thing i want to point out here is that you can see that previously the charging protocol was detected as qualcomm 2.0 and now it is uh, detected as apple 2.4 amp which is the apple 12 volt 12 watt fast charging and what does that tell you that basically tells you that uh, the charging uh, protocol detection on such meter is not very very accurate it may be the fault of the meter maybe the fault of the cable or it is also the fault of the pd protocol itself because the power delivery protocol is very very confusing and very twitchy at some times it is very difficult to determine which device becomes your host and which device becomes your client anyways this is how 
uh, the bidirectional feature of your meter is helpful press it again this is your uh, protocol detection page so if let's say i want to detect how how many types of charging this power bank supports so what i can do is i on the proto protocol detection page i will press the k2 button long press the k2 button and it says dangerous once it says dangerous i will press the k1 button to select this option and now it will start detecting the uh, type of protocol uh, supported by my power banks as you can see uh, the power bank supports qualcomm 2.0 qualcomm 3.0 samsung adaptive fast charging type c power delivery huawei fast charging protocol and the huawei supercharge protocol is not supported now here i want to uh, tell you about the limitation of such meters as you know that uh, every now and then every other new company is launching different charging protocols and i'm not sure how long these type of meters can keep up because the updates on these types of meters is very slow and every now and then there's a new company coming out with different charging protocols uh, they are changing uh, they're changing few things in their own cables they are coming up with proprietary cables which may or may not be compatible with your usb c meters so it's not worth really spending on a lot of usb c meters unless all the mobile phone manufacturing companies or charging uh, companies come up with a very standardized uh, charging uh, protocol and the cables that they are using so that's one limitation of such meters because uh, you, uh, the meters can't keep up with the uh, uh, changing technology every now and then anyways this uh, you can use the uh, protocol detection feature to check how many type of charging your uh, power bank is capable of or uh, your charger is capable of to get out of the setting all you have to do is press the k2 button once now you are out of the setting press the k2 button again here is your let's go back to the setting here is your protocol trigger a feature in this you can trigger different type of charging to go into trigger feature so let's say you want to check you want to trigger a certain type of kind of voltage from your uh, uh, power bank or charger your power delivery charger or power bank so go to the trigger feature long press the k2 button once you long press the k2 button it will help you to select once you are in this section keep pressing the k2 button one by one to navigate from different setting so let's go to pd once you are on pd press the k1 button to select that option now it is asking you to reinsert take this out plug this back in and as you can see this took us directly into the power delivery setting now on the left side you can see programmable supply ready so I don't know what that means but on this side if your power bank or your charger supports programmable power supply meaning you can change the voltage uh, with the buttons only then you will see these uh, on the right left side options highlighted if your pro, uh, charger or power bank doesn't support pps you will not see the uh, left side option highlighted anyways on the right side we can see that in, with this particular power bank we uh, 5 volt 9 volt and 12 volt are supported and our power bank also confirms that that we are on the 5 volt setting on the meter you can see that we are also on the 5 volt setting to change that you can either press the k1 button or k2 button so let's press the k2 button we are in 9 volt setting let's check with the power bank yes the power bank has switched to 9 volt let's switch that to 12 volt and let's see 12 volt on the meter and the 12 volt on the power bank so uh, the meter is easily able to trigger whatever voltage or at least the voltage that is supported by the power bank without using any load so you can check whether your power bank is actually delivering uh, the voltage that you want from it or not to get out of this uh, trigger setting all you have to do just take this out plug this back in and hopefully it will reset back to 5 volt as you can see it reset back to 5 volt and we are again back to the setting if you again press the uh, uh, k2 button it will take you to the settings of the meter itself so in the settings press the long press the k2 button now it is selected now to navigate through different menus keep pressing the k2 button uh, tapping the button so this is the backlight delay basically after one minute the screen will go to sleep 
if you go to next setting is your brightness level at the moment it is six you can change this to let's to change the setting press the k1 button keep pressing it until you get the desired value let me just keep it at five i think five looks good let's keep it at five long press the k2 button and it will save that value to go back into the menu again long press the k2 button again it will again start from the beginning let's go change press the k2 button to move through different menus so this was the brightness this is the temperature at the moment i'm using centigrade you can change this to fahrenheit keep again press the k2 button this is the usb connect on or off when you want to connect this to your pc again press k2 this is the bluetooth function this one doesn't have the bluetooth because i didn't buy the expensive version again press k2 this is your display rotate you can rotate the display at the moment it is upside down if i press the k1 button here you can see the display is rotated if i press again the display is rotated again let's go back to different setting this is your pd soft switch on and off so this basically enables the cc line in the uh, usb meter on and off and if this cc line is off only the backside port will work you will not be able to use the you will still be able to use the meter but the meter will not turn on unless you connect a load meaning the cc line will be disconnected and it will not trigger uh, the uh, turning on of your power bank if you just plug this in so if you want to use this like this keep this on uh, that way you will be able to use the mail port of your usb c meter all the time uh, press the k2 button again here you can change the language there are only two languages available english and chinese press it again and here you can uh, restore the factory setting uh, back to how it came from a, a factory to go out of the menu just long press the k2 button again so we're out of the menu if you press the k2 button once this is your another page here you can see that the firmware version this one is your version 1.1.4 as you can see on the top and some other information about the uh, meter again press the k2 once this is your simple reading big letters your you have your uh, voltage your current and your watts press the k2 button again and again you started with the uh, front page of your meter so there we go guys this was my video on the ruidang tc66 usb-c power meter i hope you found this video helpful Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.